I'm Dr. Kristen R. Bromley. This video series, which is part of my online music academy, specifically accompanies Note Reading Books 1 and 2 from my Method Book series. Like all my books, this selection is available to purchase through Amazon and Google Play. For help, see the links in the description below. In the videos which are part of this specific course, I progress through the lessons in Note Reading Books 1 and 2, explaining and demonstrating concepts and playing each of the songs and exercises contained therein so you can hear how they sound and play them right along with me. You are of course welcome to view these videos with or without the book, but with the book you can work through all the songs and exercises, and in the process learn all the notes in first position and master the skill of reading written music notation. Alright, let's get to jamming in this lesson. in lesson five. So in this lesson we're on pages 26 through 31. We're starting on page 26. We're going to be learning the notes on the D string. So the open D, the E, and the F. Having these three pitches opens up the melodies we can play. It's just pretty great. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The D is the note that sits down. D for down under the staff. And it's our open fourth string. So we got our D. The E sits on the bottom line of the staff and it's at the second fret. Second finger, we're going to use that middle finger, it's going to sit right behind that fret bar. And then we have F, lowest space on the on the staff. F A C E, it's the lowest one and it's the third fret. We're going to use our ring finger and it's going to sit just behind that fret bar. So with these notes, I'm not sure what it is necessarily, but as we start to get lower, it seems to get a little trickier as we're working on learning these pitches. Now, if you know the chords, there may be a little trick to help you with that. Our D chord uses that open string D as the lowest note of the chord. The E is in our E chord, in our E minor chord, so it's at the second fret. And the F is the lowest note of our F chord. So, it may help to associate the chords with it when you're thinking, wait, is E here, is F here, which note is which? We have the open D, second fret E, and the, the F at the third fret. Those notes are inside of those chords. They're the lowest note um, of some of those chords in the case of the four string F and the four string D, and then inside the E chord and the E minor for the E. All right, let's dive in and start reading some music with these. So we have number one. <clears throat> We're going to go one, two, ready, and we have D, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, E, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and do number two. A one, two, ready, and we have D, two, E, two, F, two, D, two, F, two, E, two, E, two, D, two, F, two, E, two, D, two, three, four. Let's go and Head and do number three. We got one, two, ready, and D, D, E, E, F, F, E, E, D, F, E, D, E, D, F, D, D, F, E, F, D, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna combine this string with the other ones that we know. So we're going to do number four, and it's going to start on that D, go all the way up to our G. So as a review, we have D, E, and F on the fourth string, G and A, open G, second fret for A, on the third string, then we have the B, C, and D, so O, one, three, and then E, F, and G, also O, one, three on that top string. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. You got one, two, ready, 
And we have D to E to F to G to A to B to C to D to E to F to G to F to E to D to C to B to A to G to F to E to D to open G E to A second fret F to open G F to E to D to three four all right, let's do number five. It's going to add a few more little skips and changes of direction into our scale exercise. Good preparation for playing the melodies. Here we go. One, two, ready, and D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, to D, G, F, E, F, B, A, G, A, D, C, B, C, F, E, D, E, G, F, E, B, D, C, G, B, A, F, E, G, F, D, E, A, G, F, E, D, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so I presume from years of teaching and playing experience that that one had some tricky parts. So let's look at some of these things, especially as we get into the second half. So on the second line, the third measure, we have this D skipping to a G. So that's skipping by what we call a fourth. It's the interval of a fourth. That's, that's a name for the distance between those two pitches. But we're going the open D to the open G. And then it just comes down stepwise. So D, G, and then we're coming back to the F, E. Let's do that a couple times. D, G, F, E. Let's do it again. D, G, F, E. Again, D, G, F, E, and you can do it as many times as you need to. The next measure, we go from that E up to the F, so it's stepwise, we're just changing directions. But this F skips to the B. We have to skip over a string to get from F to B. That's quite a skip, F, B. Once we get there, then it just descends again in uh, a scalar fashion. So F, skip to the B, A, G, it's all stepwise after that. F, up to that B, and then we come down A, G again. F, skip to B, A, G, F, B, A, G. This is probably a good time to mention, I mentioned this in the first lesson, but I anchor my wrist when I'm doing notes. And so my, my wrist is sitting right on, uh, on the bridge of my guitar. You may have an acoustic or one where the bridge looks slightly different. But I'm sitting there and my hand isn't on the strings that I'm playing, so it's not muting those. But it's kind of just sitting a little bit above them as far as orientation to the ground or the guitar, but it's sitting on the lower strings. And it, it sits higher um, higher up or on the lower strings, two different ways to look at that, than, I'm at, than the, the strings that I'm actually plucking. But it gives my hand an orientation as I skip from that F up to that B. Now as we look at the third line, we're going to have this A skipping to a D. So we're going from fret 2 to fret 3. This is a great skip. These things happen in music all the time we're not as used to finding those pitches. As soon as we're skipping from one pitch to the next, it's a real test. Do we know where that pitch is? When we're going stepwise motion, then we can just kind of continue in the pattern of 310310 or the opposite if we're going higher. So let's practice this 
first measure of the third line, we're going to have A, D, C, B. Again, we're skipping from the A to the D and then coming down stepwise. So A, D, C, B. From that measure to the next, we're just step stepwise back up to the C, but we're going to skip from C to F. So we're skipping from notes uh, that are in the same fret but on different strings. So C to F. And I can handle that two ways. I can play it, lift my finger, push down the next one. I can also kind of flatten my finger out in a little bit of a roll. And then I lift it off for the E, D. So we have C, F, E, D, C, F, E, D. Then in the next measure, we go up to the open E string. So that's stepwise. But we have E to G. So open to the third fret, and then F, E. We've done E, G, F, E before when we were learning E, F, and G in that first lesson. So that's probably not so bad. And then in the, the last uh, measure of that, that um, third line, it's a little tricky because we're skipping from the E, we got to skip to the open B. So when we have E, G, F, E, then to play that last measure, we have to skip down to that B from E to B. So E, B, and then we skip D, C, G. Let's play the last measure a few times. Here we got B, D, C, and then we gotta skip down to the G. So the B, D, C we're familiar with, but then we gotta skip down to that G. B, D, C, G. If we combine those last two measures, we go ready, and we have E, G, F, E, open B, D, C, G. Let's do it again. Ready? And E, G, F, E, open B, D, C, G. And again, we have E, G, F, E, open B, D, C, open G. As we continue on to the last measure, we have to jump from G back up to B, but then it's just kind of stepwise. B, A, so we catch the B to the A. Then we got to skip down to the F, E. So let's do that first measure of that last line. B, A, skip down to F, E, again. B, A, F, E, again, and B, A, E. To go to the second measure, we have to skip up to the G, so from E to G, but then it's just G to the F, stepwise skip to the D, E. So G, F, D, E. Again, G, F, D, E. To play the last two measures, we have to skip from that E up to the A, but then it's just stepwise back down. A, G, F, E, D bad. This is a really great exercise. If you can nail these patterns, it'll help you when playing the melodies. Let's go ahead and play it again. So you got one, two, ready, and D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, G, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, 2, D, G, F, E, F, B, A, G, A, D, C, B, C, Great. Okay. Let's go on now and play some of these melodies. So we'll start with Stephanie. 
Number six, this one has a pickup measure. It's a one beat pickup measure, so I'm gonna give us one, two, three, and we'll be in on beat four. So you got one, two, three. G, E, F, G, C, B, C, A, A, G, F, E, D, D, two, three. G, E, F, G, C, E, D, C, A, G, E, F, F, E, two, three, rest. All right, let's flip on over to page 28 now. Okay, so here we are on page 28. We're starting with number seven, Worried Man Blues. This is one of my favorite old folk tunes, so this will be kind of fun. Starts on our D pitch. It has a one beat pickup in the pickup measure. So I'm going to give us one, two, three, and then we'll be in with that D. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. D, 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 E, G, two, three. A, B, 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 A, G, two, three. G, B, 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 G, G, two, three. E, G, 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 E, D, two, three. D, 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 E, G, two, three. Okay, number eight. We ever pray for the great old hymn. One, two, ready, and G, two, G, 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 F, E, two, D, two, E, F, E, two, three, four, A, two, B, A, G, Great. I assume it's great. If not, just keep working at it. It'll get easier and easier. Let's look at number nine, hearts. So this one starts on the open D as well. No pickup measure. So I'll give us four beat count in. One, two, ready, and D, D, G, G, A, A, B, two, G, G, C, B, G, Okay, let's take a look at page 29 and we'll do number 10, Kia Cook. Now this one has a one beat pickup, so I'll give us a three beat count in and we'll be in. It starts on the G pitch, so we'll just be in right there with that. So you got one, two, three. G, 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 two, C, two, B, two, three. B, C, A, G, F, E, two, three, E, 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 F, G, F, F, E, D, D, G, F, E, two, three, G, G, C, 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 
three, rest. All right, how about going down the road? This one also has a one beat pickup measure, so I'll give us three beat count in. And this one starts on a B, so we're gonna find that open B. So you got a one, two, three, B, D, G E G G A to G E D to rest to rest to three F E G G A to G A B to B D D B B D D Three, four, one, two, three, rest. Alrighty, let's flip on over to page 30 and we'll do number 12, Hazelnut. This one has a one beat pickup, starts on an E. I'm going to give us a three beat count in. Here we go. A one, two, three. E, E, F, G, C, B, B. Alrighty, now if these are getting difficult and you're not quite keeping up, it's okay to repeat them over and over and over. I'm just doing them once, but you can play them with me as many times as you want. Great advantage of videos. Let's do number 13, Acres of Clams. This one's in 3-4 time. It has a one beat pickup. I'm going to give us one, two, three, one, two, as our count in to kind of help orient us to that 3-4 time. This one starts on a D, so we'll just go ahead and do it. A one, two, three, one, two. D, G, 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 B, A, G, B, D. One, two. Okay, how about number 14, Solitude? This one doesn't have a pickup measure, but it's still in 3 4 time. So I'm going to give us 1, 2, 3, and then we'll be in with the D pitch that it starts on. Here we go 1, 2, 3. D, E, D, G, 2, F, A, 2, G, B, 2, A, B, A, G, C. Okay, and we'll go on to number 15, Amazing Grace. This is the last one in the lesson. This is one of my all-time favorite songs, so I'm glad that we're doing it here. It's got a one-beat pickup, and it's still in three, we're still in 3-4 time. So I'm going to give us those that five counts to orient us. So I'll give us the one, two, three, one, two, and we'll be in with the D, which is the starting pitch. So here we go. A one, two, three. One, two, D, G, two, B, B, two, A, G, two, E, D, two, D, G, two, three, 
to A, B to A, D to 3, 1, 2, B, D to B, G to E, G to E, D to D, G to B, B to A, G to 3, 1, 2, and we're off. Okay, so that wraps us up for this lesson. I hope you're having a great time playing the guitar. I sure enjoy playing the guitar. Hope you're enjoying learning to play these melodies. The more notes we add in, the more songs that we can play because it gives us a wider range. So in the next lesson, we're going to be learning the notes on the A string. So A, B, and C. This is going to involve some reading of notes with ledger lines because all three of these notes require some ledger lines or at least one ledger line to be able to read them. So keep practicing, keep having fun. We'll see you in that next one. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For help with other guitar playing skills, check out more of my method books and the numerous lessons available as part of my online academy here on YouTube. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.